couple of weeks ago, Kelly stole the format of my Reader's Nook video, so this week I am going to copy her and do the same writing tag that she did last week. mean to do writing tags when I see them around YouTube and just never get around to it. So I figured that this week I have vlogger's choice. It is the perfect time to do one. Like Kelly, I'm not completely sure who came up with this tag in the first place. So if it's you and you're watching, thanks for creating it. Make sure to let me know in the comments that this is yours. The first question is what do you eat or drink while writing? I don't really have anything that I have to have every time I sit down to write. I do tend to have some water nearby just so I can stay hydrated. If it's under 100 degrees here in Orlando, I might have a cup of chai because I do love that and caffeine is awesome when you're writing. And I don't really have any foods. I tend to not eat while I write because I don't want to get crumbs in my computer and I don't want to take time away from writing to grab something and put it in my mouth. And it just started raining, so sorry for that background noise for the rest of the video. Second question, what music do you listen to while you're writing? This is an interesting question for me because it's something that has changed a lot. Over the past year or so, I have suddenly started listening to music with words while I write. If you have been watching The Word Nerds for a long time, you might remember that I've said in the past that I couldn't do that. If I was listening to music with words, I couldn't focus on the words I was writing because I wanted to sing along or I was just listening too intently. It was just a big distraction for me. I couldn't do it. I only listened to instrumental music and then about a year or so ago a switch flipped and suddenly it's all I listen to while I write so it's been kind of strange it's been a big change for me but I'm loving it and it's really been inspiring me and I actually think I get a lot more words down now than I used to when I was only listening to instrumental music so there's that I love 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 Imagine Dragons and Halsey anything with that sort of vibe I like songs that are about people in pain. One of my new favorites is Unsteady by Ex Ambassadors. It just makes me want to write all of the fragile emotional characters. I also recently discovered Hannah, H-A-N-A, -A, thanks to Kyra Nelson, who you've seen lots of times on this channel. She suggested it as a good option for the ghost story I'm writing right now, so thanks Kyra, it has been awesome. Ah, and I think the big storm is over already, so... Maybe I won't have to talk so loud now. Number three, what is your biggest distraction while writing? This is pretty easy. It's the internet. Number four, what is the worst thing that has happened to you while writing? I'm not really sure. I'm having trouble coming up with an answer for this one. Luckily, I use Google Docs for all my writing, so I have never had something crash and lose all my work because it's saved to the cloud. So I'm trying to think of something bad. Ooh, I've got it. When I was taking a creative writing class in college, uh, we had to, like all creative writing classes, we had to do workshops where we would submit something we had written and the class critiqued it. And it was overall a pretty good experience because we were all newish writers, none of us were perfect. When I workshopped my fiction piece, which was a short story about a six-year-old, it was a little children's adventure story. There was one guy in my class who in his written notes said that it sounded a little juvenile and maybe that's what I was going for, but you're an adult and you should write like it. I wouldn't really say that it was something bad that happened to me while I was writing because I didn't really let it affect me. I knew that it was a stupid comment and I didn't let it hurt my opinions of my writing, but it was something that really made me mad and I still harbor a lot of righteous indignation over that. So don't cross me, cause I'll never forget. Number five, what is the best thing that has happened to you while writing? I don't really have anything big and impressive, but I was pretty excited when I finished my last manuscript. It was already exciting because finishing a manuscript is exciting and also it had taken me over a year to write it. But it was also cool because I decided to write the last couple of scenes by hand in my notebook and I was getting really close to the end. I was on the last scene. I had two pieces of paper left in the notebook front and back and on the back of the page I'd even like scribbled and done some doodles. So I was cramming in my writing, writing really small and writing around the doodles and literally fit the last line of the story on the bottom of that back of the last page. I filled up every piece of space in that notebook and that was just cool because I'm weird and things like that make me happy. Number six, who do you communicate with while you're writing? 
obviously the word nerds and all of you because we're here every week talking about our writing and what's going on with it, but I also talk to my husband about my writing a lot. He's not a writer and he doesn't read a lot of fiction, but he's really a good sounding board for me because he's a good listener and I trap him in the car when we're driving to and from work and just tell him about all the things I'm contemplating in my story and the breakthroughs I've made and it's just He's a good person for me to talk to so I can get my ideas out there and think through them and he's always really supportive about the cool new ideas I have. 7. What is your secret to success and your biggest writing flaw? For a secret to success I'd probably say be a decent human being, be kind to people, help people when and where you can, and make friends because that will always come back to help you and being mean and hurting other people it will only come back to bite you in the butt in the end. As for biggest writing flaw, this is a really easy one for me to answer because it is I am really bad at finishing things. Something that I have been working on and I'm getting better at, but I always have that temptation to just start something new instead of finishing what I'm always working on. Eight, what is your inspiration and what helps you to be productive? Um, in general, as a writer, I've just been inspired by all the books I've read and all the stories I've consumed through movies and TV show and books, of course. I just love stories and I've always wanted to tell stories. I've always been making up stories in my mind and daydreaming about possibilities. And so I guess that's my biggest inspiration and just wanting to have my stories out there in the world and to share them with other people and to give people the same enjoyment that I've gotten from books. As for what helps me to be productive, being a part of this channel and all the accountability that goes into it has been super, super helpful for me. I know that if I just was to just stop writing, people would notice and there would be people who would be disappointed in me and I hate disappointing people. So that really, really helps. Also just tracking my word count helps me a lot. I put a little star every time I write 100 words on my calendar and I love seeing all those little stars. So that's one little thing I do that definitely helps me to be a little bit more productive. Nine, almost done. What is one thing that you do or that other writers do that you find annoying? I haven't really thought about this question yet, so I'm trying to think of an answer. I mean, something I do that annoys me is, like I said, not finishing things or trying to go after different stories or talking myself out of writing for the day because I'm just too tired. I get annoyed at myself over those sorts of things. For something that other writers do that is annoying, I hate when writers, particularly YA writers, talk down to teens or talk bad about them or when they talk bad about YA literature. If you're going to be writing YA books, you should love YA books and you should think that teenagers are awesome because they are. Last up, number 10. Are you willing to share something that you have written? This video is getting a little bit long already, so I'm not going to share anything here, but I do try to take part in One Line Wednesday on Wednesdays, obviously, if I have a good line that goes with the theme, so you can look through my Twitter feed and see some of the lines that I've written in my current work in progress, and of course if you want to hear some very bad fan fiction that I wrote when I was about 12 years old, did read some of that in a live chat recently, so go ahead, it is out there for the world to hear now. And that's it for me today. I will see you guys tomorrow at 7.30 Eastern Time. We're going to be prepping for NaNo, talking about how we're prepping for NaNo. So if you're going to be doing NaNoWriMo or you're just getting ready for another writing project or whatever, you just want to see our faces, be sure to be there. We'll see you then.